Do you want to know the ideal Streamlabs OBS Facebook Live settings for Android and iPhone? Well, technically, it's just Streamlabs. So if you came here looking for Streamlabs OBS, believe it or not, that's not available for mobile. That's, that's okay. This is still gonna work for most all platforms. So some of the advice I'm gonna give, it's going to work for everything, including YouTube, Twitch, and in this case, we're gonna be talking about specifically the Facebook Live settings because you're gonna to need to dial in those settings specific to the Facebook platform if you wanna get the most from that platform. All right, let's get started. You're gonna definitely need to download the Streamlabs app inside your preferred app store. You're gonna open the Streamlabs app, log into Facebook, select continue as yourself or tap edit settings to allow Streamlabs permission to post to a Facebook business page that you run. Select the business page you wish to stream to. Review all the permissions you're allowing Streamlabs, then tap Done, then tap OK. Feel free to enable notifications for stream stats in the app. I selected Not Now. If this is your first time using the app, it's gonna probably ask you to enable the microphone and the camera. So in this particular tutorial, since I already had this downloaded, I already had my microphone and camera enabled. Access the settings by tapping the parallel lines in the top left corner. Tap Stream Settings. Let's fix the audio quality first. For Facebook, anything at or below 44.1 kilohertz will work. Avoid 48 kilohertz. They just don't support that. Now tap output resolution. Depending on your mobile camera features, you can stream at or below 720p resolution. Do not stream in 1080p unless you're part of the Facebook Level Up program. Tap your expected frame rate. Again, Based on your mobile camera features, you can select at or below 30 frames per second. Much like the previous setting, do not select 60 frames per second unless you're in the Facebook Level Up program. The problem is if you select those settings, it's going to get you a lot of drop frames, a ton of buffering. You want to utilize anything at or below 720p and 30 frames per second, regardless of how good your phone is. Tap maximum video bitrate. This is based largely on what your internet can handle. Generally, you want to be at or below 2500 kbps. Now tap events list so you can get alerts as they happen during your stream. Make sure all the Facebook related actions are enabled. If you don't want them on, then deselect them. Now here's a few tricks and tips that you're gonna be doing here. I wanna show this before you go live. So double tap the screen to switch cameras. Now naturally you can also tap the little setting in the bottom left hand corner where we'll flip that view, but it's so much easier where you can just tap it really fast. Next, you can tap the rectangle in the top right corner to toggle views between portrait or landscape. Or just simply tilt your camera in portrait or landscape mode and it'll accommodate you. Tap the chat bubble to have it on or off the screen. So if you have some chatters over on Facebook and you wanna see that, this is where you're gonna to wanna to make that available. Okay, so if you're ready to go live, naturally we're gonna tap go live. It's going to ask you what platform you wish to choose. Select Facebook, then tap next. Enter the title and relevant info for your stream on Facebook, then tap go live. Have fun and stream away, and when you're done, simply tap stop to disconnect your stream. Hey, would you like to multi-stream? In other words, go streaming to Facebook and Twitch and YouTube at the same time? Well, believe it or not, you can do that through the Streamlabs Prime program, but if you don't want to spend the money, you can actually use Restream, and we actually talk a little bit about Restream in this very next video right over here. We show you exactly how to set everything on up, and if you're not interested in that, YouTube recommends you take a look at this video. We will see you in either one.